we take the words of Paul in the second reading to heart when he says that we need to bear with one another. Let's take a moment now to prepare to celebrate our liturgy by calling to mind our sins and asking the mercy of the Lord to be upon us. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Whoever honors his father atones for sins, 
and preserves himself from them. When he prays, he is heard. He stores up riches who reveres his mother. Whoever honors his father is gladdened by children. And when he prays, is heard. Whoever reveres his father will live a long life. He who obeys his father brings comfort to his mother. My son, take care of your father when he is old. Grieve him not as long as he lives, even if his mind fail. Be considerate of him. Revile him not all the days of his life. Kindness to a father will not be forgotten. Firmly planted against the death of your sins, a house raised in justice to you. reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, put on 
as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved. Heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If one has a grievance against another, as the Lord has forgiven you, so you must also do. And over all these, put on love, that is, the bond of perfection. And let the peace of Christ control your hearts, the peace into which you are also called in one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as in all wisdom you teach and admonish one another, singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God, the Father, through Him. The Word of the Gentiles 
and glory for your people Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Behold, this child of yours is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted, and you yourself a sword will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. There was also a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years, having lived seven years with her husband after her marriage, and then as a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple, but worshipped night and day with fasting and prayer. And coming forward at that very time, she too gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were awaiting the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. <laughs> 